Hello friends and welcome to another beautiful day here at Sophia Kamau's TV show. Today I am in the kitchen. I am going to show you a very scrumptious uh, snack that have been requested by many. Here are the ingredients. We do have uh, flour, that's uh, three cups of flour, all-purpose flour, and extra for the rolling. I do have oil. I will use a half cup of oil just for uh, mixing up the dough, and we have extra oil for deep frying. I have a pinch of salt or a quarter teaspoon of salt. I have two teaspoons of baking powder. I have a half cup of sugar. I do have one cup of water and I will use the rind of this one orange. You can also use the juice if you choose, but you have to make sure the juice from the orange plus the water equals to one cup for this ratio. So first I'm going to grate the rind of the orange and I'm using a very fine uh, uh, grater see that way see how much rind I've gotten in fact I'm feeling it's just too much my orange flavor will be overpowering so I might cut it in half since the orange had a, a thick thick um, um, skin next I will want to add my dry ingredients together so that is a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half cup of sugar. A teaspoon of uh, orange, a heap full, because this orange of mine had so much rind. So one teaspoon first. If you put too much, it will ruin the flavors. It will be overpowering. So I'll have to mix this together. Next, I have to make a hole in the middle and pour my liquids. A half cup of oil. One cup of water. Now I bring my uh, pot to the mixer. I will attach my dough mixer and let it do its thing. My measurements are really perfect that you do not need to add any flour or liquid to balance it. My dough is done now. It's about two minutes and it's done. Done? Okay. Now I am taking out my dough. It's a little sticky and that is because of the sugar, which is fine. But first, I almost forgot. Flour my surface here and roll it a little bit. It is perfect because you don't want it too hard. You just want it nice and soft, then your mandazi will be soft. So I will roll here a little bit so that I'm able to hold it properly and not sticking into my hands. And that's it. So I will divide my dough. Uh, this dough normally will give me 8 to 10 uh, balls, so I can divide like this by hand, and then this is like half, and then I can go again and make sure that I get uh, 8 to 10 uh, uh, dough balls. So by eyeballing, I've been able to make like uh, 8 dough balls flour a little bit and then put it there you can also use this i've seen some people go like this 
as long as it's round and there. They don't have to be perfect like the same size because, hey, we are not using a machine. We are just eyeballing. And the last one. So because these ones I use baking powder, I do not need to wait for them to, uh, to rise. They are already good to go, but if it was yeast, I'll have to wait them to rise. These are perfect. Now we will go to the stove. So my oil was heating up. It is uh, warming up and I think it is good. And I will start with the first uh, dough. Simple rolling out. And you can see the orange is a lot. Like for that one heap full of a uh, teaspoon, I was afraid if I put everything, it will be too overpowering. I'll make two dough balls at a time so that I just cook four rounds. So this is the first one is here. And then I'll take the second one. You just roll it slowly and it will be okay. And you are not rolling it very thin. You are making it uh, a little thick so that your mandazi have some uh, flesh. Okay, so these two are done like this. I have to flip it so it can come out easily. And then I will use my pizza cutter. If you don't have, you can use a knife. I'll cut here and I will cut here. And I will cut here and I will cut here. So I will move them to my stove now. First of all, too, another trick to know that your oil is heating up, you can put the rolling pin. Once you see the bubbles, you see those bubbles? See, it is heated up. The oil is heated up good enough. Or another trick is to throw a piece of dough. I will take my dough out and throw one by one. Be very careful not to burn yourself. I'm using a small pot here today, but it's all okay. I'm sure they will fit. So once it starts puffing up, you flip it very quickly. Otherwise, once it puffs too much, it will be hard to flip and it might bust or just create that big bubble that you can never flip it upside down to cook on the other side this one too these two are cooking uh, they are uh, puffed and these two like that so my uh, heating is on the lower side like medium and uh, so if it gets too hot, you lower it. You don't want to burn. You need to give your mandazi enough time to cook. Otherwise, if they burn too fast on the top, the inside will not be cooked. It will be doughy. So after this, I can check to see. Yeah, it's uh, cooking well. I flip on the other side. See, the color is changing really good. And by the way, if those who are very observant, you can see my flour is a, a mix of whole wheat and the plain uh, all-purpose flour because we love to make our snacks healthy. So sometimes I can even make 100% whole wheat. But today I mixed uh, whole wheat and the white flour So it's about one minute on each side or sometimes one and a half minute 
depending on how hot your um, your oil is. I'll try to flip one more time. Look at that golden brown color. That's what I want. So there, and now we have to get ready to remove them. I have to put a paper towel here and scoop them out. Look at that, how perfect it is. So paper towel will uh, help to soak the extra oil. So I'll go to round two because I was talking and illustrating so it was hard for me to continue doing here. But normally if you're doing alone, it's easy. You're doing this while you are rolling here. So I'll go to the next door. So the second batch is here. Look at the orange uh, rind. It's really showing like, and I'm sure it has flavored it perfectly. So I'll again cut like this. If you want smaller pieces, you can go again and cut this way and get eight pieces out of that. But mine, they are just for home consumption. So after that, I will take them um, here and then one by one I put. If your stove is too hot, you can turn it off. That's what I did with mine because I was uh, trying to talk and show you. So it became too hot. I turn it off and then I continue with this. So those are other eight pieces, which I knew there will be enough on my pot. So you have to be careful so that they are not piling on each other. See, this one is almost cracking. There, I have to flip it before it is too late. Another one here, it's puffed up. Another one. You just have to remember which ones you have uh, turned around. Uh, this one. There, they are all turned around. This one has really ballooned. And that's why I said this one here that this is baking powder which it works instantly i didn't have to wait for the dough to rise it is immediately it rises but if it is yeast you have to give it some time so now i'll have to flip it i don't want any side to burn i flip it and then if it's not the brown that i want i will flip it one more time I'll flip these one more time. See now they are giving that nice golden color. Ooh, I have to make sure which one I'm flipping. Oh, that one and this one here. They are not giving each other room. There you go. See, all that good. Meanwhile, I will take this out and put it again in a paper towel to absorb more oil. And then after that, my mandazis will be really nice and um, uh, not oily. And these ones now are ready to go. So I will continue with the rest after I remove this and then we will come back after I am done. My mandazi are done and here they are. Let's see how they look. Look at that. Ooh, it is uh, smelling really good. The orange flavor is perfect. So you can add more orange rind with the juice or less is up to you. Mandazi are very simple and easy to make. 
You can have them for breakfast, for lunch, or for dinner. Some people will have mandazi with beans. You can have mandazi with a stew. You can have mandazi with a tea or milk. It is up to you when you want to have them and how you want to have them. You have seen how I have done them step by step. If you follow my recipe, you will not go wrong. Just follow the measurements to the T and everything will be fine. Go ahead and give this a try. Let me know how yours turn out. And please remember to like, subscribe and share. I will also link the other Mandazi video I made uh, down below. Till we see you again with another beautiful, delicious and basic recipe. Bye!